seven. Today we are celebrating the 30th anniversary of our freedom. Man, is it Instagram time? Yes, man! 30 years ago we demonstrated for the freedoms that you have today. And I'm not going to tell you what I heard or what I read today. I'm going to tell you what I experienced by myself. So you are trying to tell us that you were there? Yes, I was. But before we start, I want to ask you, what does freedom mean to you? Well, in my opinion, freedom means that I can say, write and defend whatever I want without any hindrance. I think that freedom is, for example, that you can come home whenever you want to, and you can become whoever you want to become in your life, and that you can go wherever you want to go, whenever you want to go, and you can make your dreams come true and live the life you want. Tom, turn on the Instagram for a second and wake up Yaya, would you? Well, actually, you're both right. We couldn't say anything we wanted without restrictions and we couldn't even go beyond our own border. And exactly 30 years ago, we tried to get our taken freedoms back to us. But we will have to start from the beginning, back when I was the same student as you. Back then, I wrote to a newspaper. On November 17th, there was an event in the memory of Yanopatal, who was shot to the stomach during an anti-Nazi demonstration back in 1939. Oh, teacher, I need to go home. No shit, me too. Let's go. <laughs> I wrote that tomorrow, during the event, there will be a demonstration. Around 1,500 people have come. Well, in any case, there are quite a lot of us. We were shouting slogans such as Masari Kanastovku or Yakeshe Dokoshe. Around half past six, the demonstration officially ended. Majority of the demonstration was formed by students. We wanted to reach the city square, but the police cordon blocked the streets and didn't allow us to. But we didn't give up and tried to get there anyways. Around half past six, the demonstration was dispersed with violence. This united our nation. And the next day, the people had voiced their support for the students and disagreed with the hard intervention. 200,000 people have attended the demonstration at that point. Representatives of the Communist Party have sent members of the People's Militia at us. There were demonstrations almost every day. But finally, on December 3rd, 1989, Ladislav Adamets introduced a new government which consisted of three uh, independents, one socialist and one people's party, and 15 communists. But we did not want to see any of the communists in the government at all. Finally, on 29th of December, 1989, Václav Havel was elected to be the last president of Czechoslovakia and democratization of the society has continued. It wasn't until the 28th of March that the Czechoslovak Socialist Republic finally ended and a new state called Czech and Slovak Federative Republic was founded, which connected our two nations until 1992. And this is how we fought for our freedom. And as you correctly said, we fought that anyone can have his voice and opinion. 
And today, on the 17th of November, we commemorate those who fought for our freedom. And I hope after I told you this, you will appreciate the freedom that we gave you and the future generations after you. Well, have a nice rest of your day. That was a great lesson. Yes, and 